Uh, hey guys, uh, what's up? Comfy Dean here. Um, so I guess for this video, um, it's probably not going to be about what people are interested in or people want to hear, but, um, I think it's important that I just talk about this, uh, I guess more for my own sake. And I'm, I guess I'm going to be uploading something more relevant to my channel, but um, yeah, I think I'm just doing this for myself at this point. And fuck, okay. So I guess I'm gonna be talking about. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna be talking about how I'm so fucking sick and tired. Uh, throwing my life away and as I've mentioned in previous videos I'm I don't I'm not good at anything I don't have anything going for me um, I have pretty much nothing going on in my life and being isolated for so long I've somehow convinced myself that I'm decent at things or that I'm I'm gonna, I'm one day, I'm gonna, you know, come out of my needs, I'm come out of my shell and just, you know, like I'm, I'm being neat for the sake of, you know, like, I guess fucking training myself like a monk or something, like going monk mode and, and just the whole idea of it was that I would isolate myself from people and then, you know, I would train my hardest and then I would come out of my need dumb and I would take a big fat fucking shit on everyone who who looked down on me in my life, who who uh, was a piece of shit to me, basically. And lo and behold, look what's happened. I'm just a fucking joke of a human being. And all the people who treated me like shit, you know, they might not be living perfect lives, but look at me, like they're fucking hundreds of miles ahead of me. And I literally don't have anything going for me. And it's like, yeah, it's like if they were to see me right now, the people, like especially the people who bullied me, or the people who look down on me, they would be fucking laughing their asses off and they would, they'd be probably telling each other. Um, and you know, you might be thinking, oh, you know, people aren't actually that bad. Like, no, fuck, trust me. Like, I know these people, okay? And they're fucking assholes. Yes, granted, they have their flaws. They have their their issues, whatever. They probably didn't have perfect childhoods, but just the way they fucking treat each other, how much shit they talk behind each other's backs, including mine, I'm sure. Because, you know, I've heard them say shit about me on Skype without them knowing I was there, but that's a whole nother story. Um, I just know that I'd be a fucking laughing stock and you know that's that's the position I feel like I've I've taken in most people's lives all my life is that I'm just there like the only reason people associate with me is because it's is like for the same people is like for the same reason people watch like Chris Chan or fucking I don't know JFS Cobra or whatever yeah, all these YouTubers because Wings of Redemption or people like that. It's because I'm a fucking lol cow. And, you know, people, you know, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go ahead and say that they want me there or they're consciously trying to keep me there. Although they might act in ways that do keep me down, but it's more that they, they just, it's more that they associate with me because I am, you know, in that sort of fucking lower 
whatever lower tier of existence and to them i'm just someone that they keep around so that they can feel better about the fact that they aren't living shitty lives and you know i'm fucking tired of that i you know there there are times when right like right now and i guess yesterday when this really hit me where that you know i feel this sense of desperation this this angst this anxiety that you know you know i'm way behind on the curve in life and you know i'm way behind where i should be in life i'm not where i could be because you know I'm not going to go ahead and say that, you know, we all have, you know, potential to be, you know, we all, we all have potential to be, uh, you know, great or whatever. And I'm not saying I'm like fucking LeBron James or Einstein or like that, but, you know, I still think I've always felt in my life that I've had potential, right? I've had potential to do great things. You know, fuck, maybe I could be of that level, just not doing the same, you know, stuff as them. I don't know, but, you know, it's like I, I hold on to that, you know, idea that I have potential and I don't do anything with it. And I just... I fall into like complacency and just playing video games, saying I'll do stuff the next day or in a few minutes, a few hours. And I just end up, you know, essentially wasting my life away or rotting. And, you know, regardless of all the fucking, like, whatever, I'll just fucking say it. I'll, regardless of all the fucking, like, black pill shit or whatever, you know, genetic determinism and whatever you know I feel like I'm just wasting my life and it's scaring me because you know I feel it I'm feeling like this I'm feeling like this um the sense of this sense of um desperation to succeed um, you know, the, this fire inside me, as corny as it fucking sounds, this fire inside me, it's, it's fading away and, you know, it's getting lesser and lesser and I'm, I feel like I'm becoming more and more, I'm resigning more and more to my situation, my fate and becoming more and more comfortable or comfy. And, you know, I talk like it's a good thing to be comfy. And I guess it is, but it's not. Like, it's fucking not. And it's like, it's not good to be comfortable all the time. And I feel myself fucking losing that desire to change and becoming more and more comfortable with just being this way this fat slob and i come up with all these delusions that one day i'll you know i'll come out of this i'll um you know i'll ascend or whatever or i'll um you know i'll become you know i'll i'll suddenly bec i'll suddenly all these years of doing this will pay off, but I'm not even putting the hard work I'm supposed to be doing to, you know, make what it's, what's in my head true, right? That I'm gonna come out of this a better person because I'm not, I'm just becoming a fucking pile of shit. And the longer I be this way, you know, it could be said that this is all in my head, that this is just all like a mental thing that I'm doing to myself. And this is true, but if I keep at it like this, past a certain point, it's going to become a reality and I'm, I'm fucking getting old. 
and you know man I feel like I don't know when what point in time my this fire inside me is gonna die out and and um, I'm just not gonna have any ambition anymore you know and but you know I from what I've heard it's gonna happen soon or you know in the next 10 to 20 years but you see, that might be a long time but already so much time has passed with me being like this and I haven't fucking done anything and you know if if a doctor or a fucking whatever therapist was analyzing me they'd say my prognosis is pretty bad like my trajectory I'm I'm going downhill and um god this fucking this feeling this feeling that I have to do something you know because if I don't do something the rest of my life is just going to be spent fucking coping and you know sure people might say oh you know 99% of people out there including working people and whatever are are coping they they live they hate their lives they fucking hate their lives they're un they're unhappy they're so unsatisfied and shit i don't know you know married people or whatever all fucking 50% of marriages are end up in divorce and the other 49% are just complete shit every with both parties hating each other or one party being fucking abusive and yeah that might be true but at the same time i feel like i know i know enough to live a good life but it's just i'm not fucking i'm not sorry for fucking swearing so much but i'm just gonna keep this one as authentic as possible um i'm just not doing anything with it i'm not implementing all this stuff i just it's like enough this is another thing i spend i spend hours upon hours consuming you know information on youtube some of which might actually be helpful if i actually did something with it i've read self-help books i've listen to fucking podcasts, you know, inspirational podcasts, the fucking Joe Rogan podcast, which is, you know, inspirational people, I guess. And, you know, people who aren't just coasting through with life, like most wages are as much as I bash them. And it's not, you know, in, in some ways they're kind of victims of the system as much as we are, we needs are, but, you know, I I don't know what I'm saying. Fuck. I don't Yeah, it's like there is much victims of the system as we are and I'm just um